marriage was instituted by our Creator, who said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help for him. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. moments, and in such an atmosphere of harmony and devotion, each of you may pledge individually by repeating after me the following. I, Christopher Denny, I, Christopher Denny, take you, Victoria Odell, take you, Victoria Odell, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse. For richer or for poor, or for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, you until death do we part, you until death do we part. I, Victoria Delenn Odell, I, Victoria Delenn Odell, take you, Christopher Denny, take you, Christopher Denny, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, from this day forward, from this day forward. For better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love you, to love you, cherish and obey you, cherish and obey you, until death do we part. So death do we part. Inasmuch as Christopher and Victoria have consented together in holy matrimony, then I do now, by the authority vested in me, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, pronounce you husband and wife with the spiritual injunction, what? Therefore, God 
hath joined together. Let not man put asunder. You are now no more two, but one flesh. Thank you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Dent. 